In this video we're going to look at how we can use tables for um, the normal distribution to solve probability questions involving a normal distribution. So this first question here, um, we're asked to find the probability that z is less than 1.42. Now this is uh, what we would call the standard normal distribution um, and this value here, this number, uh, represents how many standard deviations away from the mean the value is. So this is what's the probability of a value being less than 1.42 standard deviations above the mean. Now if we look here we have a copy of the table of the normal distribution and the value we were looking up was 1.42 so I looked that up in the Z column so 1.42 is here and I can see that that associated probability is 0.9222 And also I can do a sketch of the normal distribution. So I would always do a sketch the same way. So it's normally distributed. The mean is in the middle. That has a Z value of 0. 1.42 is going to be over here somewhere maybe. And this is less than that. So that's this area here related to the graph. And we can see that's going to be quite a large probability. And we have here 0 0.9222. Now if we look at this second one, um, this time we're looked, looking for the probability that z is greater than negative 1.02. So I'm going to do again a rough sketch here. 0 there, negative 1.02 is going to be over here somewhere and it's greater than that. So it represents that kind of area. But I can't look this up in the table because the table for the normal distribution that we have um, looks up values that are less than a certain value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the properties of the normal distribution and that is the property that it is symmetrical to say that a probability of something being greater than negative 1.02 is the same as it being less than 1.02 and this is something I can look up so I go back to my table here I've got 1.02 and that gives me a probability of 0 0.8461 okay so this next one um, initially it looks very similar to the last one so I do my sketch uh, I've got something that being less than negative 2.01 so that represents this area. So I can use then symmetry to say, well, that's equivalent to this, but I can't look this up um, because I can only look up tables uh, values that are, are less than that. Now I can't look up this one because the table only has values that are uh, for z that are zero or greater than zero. So how can I use this? Well, if I know. Um, I could look up all this unshaded area here um, so I can look up the probability that z is less than 2.10 and I can do that on the table um, and I can see that over here 0 0.9821 and so therefore the probability I require is 1 subtract that because the total area under here must be 1 and so that will be 0 0.01 uh, seven nine. Next question then. So I'm looking at it between two values. So again, I'm going to do a sketch. One point two zero is around here somewhere. Two point two four is up here somewhere. So I want the area between these two. Well, if I look up. 1.2 in the table it's going to give me all this white area that I'm not interested in. If I look up 2.24 it's going to give me the shaded area I want plus this whole white area as well. So if I find the difference between these two values in the table it's going to give me my answer. So 2.24 I can look that up and I get uh, 0 0.9875 and I subtract the value for 1.2 which is 0 0.8849 and the difference in those two values is what I'm after. So 0.9875 subtract 0.8849 and that gives me an answer of 
at 0 0.1026. So this next one, the probability uh, of Z being between 0 and 1.34. So there's 0 right on the middle, 1.34 here somewhere. So this is really very, very similar to the last example that we looked at. So I'm going to look up the probability of this value and I'm going to subtract the probability of this value. So if I look up 1.34, um, I get here 0 0.9099. And then here is just, well, I could look that up in the table, but also I can use the fact that because it is equal to the mean, the probability of it being less than that must be 0 0.5 because it's symmetrical. Uh, and so then this gives me 0 0.4099. Final question. Um, again, same kind of idea, but a lot more tricky, this one. So negative 1.55 is over here somewhere. Uh, 1.22 is over here somewhere and I want to find the area between them well, this one is easy I can look that up straight away so the probability that Z is less than 1.22 I can look that straight up in the table and get 0 0.8888 but the other one is much more tricky so the uh, probability that z is less than negative 1.55 because this is the bit I would actually um, have to then subtract from this number well I'm actually just going to use another little graph here so this is the value I'm trying to work out I can't find that because um, of the fact that I can only look up values that are positive for z so that's going to be using symmetry equal to this area here but I can't look up that either but what I can look up is the probability that Z is less than 1.55 so I look that up in my table and I get 0 0.9394 but I'm actually interested in the white area so that's one subtract that and the reason I'm interested in that is because it's equal to this white area over uh, here um, so uh, yeah so that will give me the white area but I want the shaded in area so it's one subtract that so actually the probability that z is less than negative 1.55 is one subtract 0 0.9394 which is 0 0.0606 so now I can do my final bit of the calculation which is I can do my um, my probability that negative 1.55 is less than z is less than 1.22 is the 0 0.8888 subtract 0 0.0606 so 0.8888 subtract 0 0.0606 gives me an answer here of 0 0.8282 and that is my final probability